All right, so we're going over uh, from butterfly half uh, a knee tap, and then we'll go over kind of the reaction we get a lot of times um, when the knee tap fails. So you can use it as a sweep, or you can use it to bait for another sweep and entry into another guard. Nice. Butterfly half. My leg on the bottom is laced, so I can feel which way he moves. All right, I want to be lazy with it. So however we get into our butterfly half, foot is on top, not underneath, because this is going to be an elevator. I can't elevate both my legs and his. All right? Our hook is going to be engaged, not just chilling out. We're going to have an underhook. Our underhook is not up the back. It's across the far hip. So no gi, you're just looking to cup as much as possible. Down across his back as low as you can get. So we're looking to control his hips and bring his hips forward and load us into our guard. So essentially from here, what we're looking to do, see the guy's real stingy with his arm. I can't get it. I'm looking to make him move this knee. So in order to get him to move this knee, start threatening his back, start trying to come around, like I'm gonna take his back. And the reaction that you'll have is this knee will come in, and then we're gonna tap. All we're gonna do is unlace the bottom leg. At the same time, when he brings his knee forward to try to correct his angle, we're just gonna reach across and tap and give a little extension with our leg. I'm gonna tap and extend and follow him. All the way up to our elbow, all the way through, to our combat base. You can go to mount, you can knee cut through, however you like to finish. So once you're kind of scooting around, starting to threaten his back, he's gonna make a big correction with that knee because he's not gonna be happy about you trying to get his back. And you just simply bring this out, just block it. You don't have to pull it. Again, we've got to tap it, extend like a sweep here. It's a gentle sweep, it's not violent, it's pretty easy. So, after you've done this to your partner, say once, and you start reaching for his knee, he's not gonna like that. So what a lot of times they will do is they'll post up with their leg, and they'll turn into you real hard to smash it. And when we do that, we're gonna roll underneath, catch a thigh, this hook that's in here is gonna engage, we're gonna release our lace, and roll them all the way through, not to our back. We're gonna roll under, pull, insert the top foot for our X-bar. So we're going to use the first sweep as a bait. Now I'm hook. I start scooting away. I got to reach for it again, and he both pays up. What is happening is going to turn it to you and try to smash you. And I'm coming Pulling with this, releasing this, shifting my hips over, and I'm extending, putting this foot on top, and extend into our X. We don't want to play our X flat on our back. We want to try at least be a little bit of an angle. So flat on my back, he's sitting here. Knee a little bit of angle, he's already moving away from me. And turn the knee out, I can come to his back. I got all sorts of options. If he turns back in real hard, I can drop and sweep him to his butt. 